Hello everyone and welcome to your 30 minutes full body yoga class. Today we want to flow through different very deep and challenging yoga exercises to mobilize, stretch and strengthen the whole body. Refuel yourself with new and fresh energy to feel your best mentally and physically. Find a quiet place, turn off every electronic device that you don't need and when you are ready, roll out your mat and see you soon. Let's start today at the end of our mat. Sit on your heels. Inhale deeply, lift your arms up. Exhale, bring your palms together in front of your heart. And again, lift your arms up, inhale. Exhale, lean forward. Rest your upper body on your thighs and your hands and your forehead on your mat for a child's pose. Extend your arms forward, create length in your upper body. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Use this first posture to become very present, to feel into the body and stay here with me for a few more breaths. Slowly lift up and forward into your tabletop pose and let's warm up the wrists here. Create slow circles with your upper body to the left. Very slowly move to the side. And then let's change sides, move to the right, slow circles here. Now flip your hands over so that your palms are facing up and your fingers are pointing towards your knees. If it's in your practice, then slowly sit back as far as you can, feel the stretch in your wrists and then carefully release and return back into your tabletop pose. Lift your right leg up, bend it and let's open the heart into a cow shaped pose with your leg bent. Inhale, exhale, bring your knee towards your forehead, round spine. And then inhale, lift your leg up again and open the chest like you would touch your head with your foot. Now exhale, touch your right knee to your right elbow. And then again, lift your leg up, Bend your leg and open your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Knee towards forehead. Round spine. Engage your core. And let's repeat this movement again. Inhale. Lift your leg up. Exhale. Touch your right knee with your right elbow. Inhale. Lift your leg up. Exhale. Knee towards chest. Inhale. Lift. Open your chest. Exhale, touch your elbow with your knee one last time. Extend your right leg backwards and then rest your right knee on the mat again. Let's repeat this whole sequence on the other side. Lift your left leg up, bend your leg and open your chest. Inhale. Exhale, bring your knee towards your forehead, round spine. And again, lift your left leg up, bring your foot towards your head, Inhale, exhale, touch your left elbow with your left knee. Inhale, lift and exhale, knee towards chest. Core is engaged. Inhale, lift again and exhale, knee towards elbow. One last time, open your chest, inhale, exhale, knee to chest. And one more, inhale, open your chest, exhale, knee towards elbow. Exhale, extend your left leg and bring your knee towards your mat again. Now let's fire up the core here, tuck your toes, 
pull the nail in and lift your knees up. Let them hover inches over your mat. Hold, press the floor away and breathe deeply. Strong shoulders here. Hold for another breath. And then slowly push back into a downward facing dog. Well done. Slowly bend and strengthen your legs, warm up the hamstrings. Keep a long and straight spine, relax the shoulders and take the movements you need. Now slowly walk forward towards your hands into a forward fold and let's continue to warm up the hamstrings here. Bend and strengthen your legs as much as you can. If you want, put your hands on your shins. Move intuitively and inhale and exhale deeply. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up into a half forward fold, long and straight spine. Exhale, bend your knees and melt over your legs again. Slowly lift up into standing, Tadasana. Inhale, lift your arms up, bring the palms together, stand tall and then lean over to the right. Extend your left side. Inhale deeply. Exhale back to center and then lean to the left, extend your right side, inhale deeply and exhale back to center. Open up your arms, interlace your fingers behind your back and open your chest, pull your hands down, inhale, exhale, sink over your legs into forward fold, bend your knees, let your hands pointing up towards the sky and stretch your shoulders. Inhale, lift halfway up. Keep your hands together. Take a step backwards with your left leg into lunge. Rest your left knee down into low lunge. Lean slightly backwards, open your chest. Inhale deeply, gaze up. And then exhale, slowly release your fingers and put your left hand down on your mat. Inhale, lift your right arm up into twisted lunge. Gaze up. Exhale, bring your right hand on the mat and your right leg back into tabletop pose. Slowly push back into child's pose. Release the spine. Take a few breaths here. And then carefully lift back up into tabletop. Hips over knees, shoulders over wrists. Extend your right leg backwards. Bend your leg and try to grab your right foot with the left hand. Pull your heel towards your glute and stay here if this is enough. If it's in your practice, Lift your leg up into tiger pose. Open your chest and hold. I know it's a tiring pose, but stay here with me. You can do this. Breathe through it. Carefully bring your heel towards your glute again and then slowly release and open your leg to the side. Put your right foot down. Slowly push your upper body back as much as you can and stay here in a modified child's pose. Inhale and exhale deeply. Lift back up again, bring your right leg back into tabletop and let's repeat our core strengthening exercise again. Hover the knees above the floor, hold and breathe. Engage every muscle in your body.
and then exhale push back downward facing dog well done let your heels sink down towards the mat pull the navel in relax the shoulders and then walk or jump forward towards your hands inhale lift halfway up long and straight spine exhale sink over your legs uttanasana forward fold slowly lift up into standing into Uttanasana. roof your feet into the mat stand tall let your palms face forward inhale lift your arms up and bring the palms together now let's start with the other side lean your upper body to the left extend your right side inhale deeply exhale center lean to the right extend your left side inhale deeply and exhale center interlace your fingers behind your back again and let's repeat our sequence on the other side open your chest inhale exhale release into a forward fold with shoulder opener inhale lift halfway up keep your fingers interlaced and then step with your right leg back rest your knee down into low lunge lean slightly backwards inhale gaze up exhale release the fingers and put your right hand down lift your left arm up into twisted lunge twist as deep as you can and then release exhale put your left hand down and bring your left leg back into tabletop push back child's pose release the spine lift up into tabletop pose again hips over knees shoulders over wrists and extend your left leg back bend your leg and try to grab your left foot with your right hand pull your knee towards your glute and stay here if it's new practice lift your leg up into tiger pose open your chest engage your core and your glutes hold open your chest and hold engage your glutes to protect the lower back and then slowly release open your left leg out to the side put your left foot down and push your upper body back as much as you can inhale and exhale deeply release the spine and open your hip here lift back up again bring your right leg back into tabletop and let's repeat our core strengthening exercise one last time i promise Hover the knees above the floor, hold, and then exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Well done. Keep a long and straight spine. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, knee towards chest, engage your core. Inhale, lift your right leg up again. Exhale, knee towards chest, engage your core. One last time, inhale, lift your leg up exhale pull your knee in and then step forward between your hands into lunge keep your left hand on the mat and lift your right arm up for twisted lunge inhale push the floor away with your left hand and lift up into twisted lunge rest your left knee down if needed and then put your right hand on your left leg behind you and lean backwards stretching out the whole front side of your body and then exhale twist to the left left foot spins flat for warrior two head above your hips sink deep into the front leg and then finally extend your right leg turn your right foot in and release into your well-deserved wide-legged forward fold if you want grab your ankles or just put your hands on the floor Keep a long and straight spine or you sink down as deep as you can.
Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, lift up into standing. Bend your right leg again, back into warrior two. Put your right forearm on your right thigh and reach forward with your left arm for extended side angle. Don't put too much weight on your right leg. Try to hold this posture through your core and back muscles. Put your right hand on the mat. Hold for another breath. And then put your left hand on the mat too. And let's get into our lizard pose. Keep your back leg lifted if you want or rest your left knee down on the mat. If you want, get on your forearms and rest your forehead on your hands if this feels good for you. Feel how the muscles slowly release and sink deeper into the hips. Carefully release and step back into your downward facing dog. And let's flow it out. Row forward into plank. Exhale chaturanga or lay down. Inhale baby cobra or upward facing dog. Uddha Mukha Shivanasana gaze up. Exhale downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shivanasana. Take a breather before we continue with the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee towards chest, engage your core. Inhale, lift your left leg up again. Exhale, knee towards chest. One last time, inhale, lift your leg up. Exhale, pull your knee in and step forward between your hands into lunge. Keep your right hand on the mat and lift your left arm up, twisted lunge, inhale. And now push the floor away and lift up into twisted high lunge. Rest your knee down if needed. Put your left hand on your right leg behind you and lean slightly backwards. Inhale deeply. Now turn and twist to the right. Right foot spins flat into warrior two. Head above your hips. Sink deep into the front leg, active core. And then finally extend your left leg. Turn your left foot in, open your arms and interlace your fingers behind your back again if you want. And then sink over into a wide-legged forward fold with shoulder opener. Hold and breathe. And then slowly release, lift up into standing again. Release the fingers, bend your left leg back into warrior two, open your arms. And then put your left forearm on your left thigh and reach forward with your right arm for extended side angle pose. Remember to hold this posture through your core and back muscles and then put your left hand on the mat. Hold for another breath. Then put your right hand on the mat too. And let's get into our lizard pose on the other side. Keep your right leg lifted if you want or rest your knee down on the mat. And if you want, get on your forearms and rest your forehead on your hands. Focus on your breath. And then carefully release and step back into your downward facing dog. Let's slow it out. Roll forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga or lay down. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Uddha Mukha Shivanasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shivanasana. Take a breather. Let's fire up the body one last time in a very active pose. So roll forward into plank. Get on your forearms, engage the whole body. Then roll to the left into side plank. If you want, keep your right hand in front of you for support or put your right foot in front of you for support. 
and now hold it here or if you are upright challenge lift your right leg up and put your right foot on the inside of your left leg for a tree pose in your forearm plank hold you can do this and now let's change sides roll to the right choose your side plank variation challenge yourself one last time hold and breathe you can do this Slowly release back into forearm plank and rest the hips down for our sphinx pose. Relax the shoulders, push your chest forward, breathe deeply. And then very slowly push back into child's pose and stay here for a moment. Let's finish off the practice with a few deep releasing stretches. So lift your chest up and sit down on your mat. Let's get into a reverse tabletop pose. Hands behind your back, legs or hip distance apart. Exhale, lift your hips up and hold. Engage your glutes. If you want, extend your legs into a reverse plank pose. Hold, I know, I said we are done with the tiring poses. Don't be mad at me, I promise. This is the last one. You are doing an amazing job. And now hold for another very deep breath and then release, sit down on your mat. Extend your legs, flex your feet and lift your arms up, inhale. Exhale, bring your chest towards your legs with a long and straight spine for seated forward fold. Hold and breathe deeply here. Sink as deep as you can. And then slowly lift up into seated. Place your hands behind your back and bend your legs. Put your right foot on your left thigh and open your right leg to the side. Sit upright and feel the stretch in your hip. Inhale and exhale deeply. And then slowly release and change sides. Put your left foot on your right thigh. Breathe deeply. Enjoy our last few stretches. Release and then slowly lay down on your back. Keep your legs bent. Arms by your side, palms facing down and then lift your pelvis up into a shoulder bridge. Engage your glutes, inhale deeply, exhale release. If you are an advanced student, I would like to give you the opportunity to get into full wheel pose Otherwise, lift up again into shoulder bridge. All right, for full wheel pose, place your hands next to your ears and lift up. Open your chest, push your chest through between your arms. And if you want, you can play around. Extend one leg up, hold for a moment, and then extend the other leg up. Don't forget to breathe. 
engage your glutes and very carefully release this posture and lay down on your back stay here for a moment and then twist your legs to the right turn your head to the left and take a few breaths here And now change sides, twist to the left and turn your head to the right. Hold and breathe. And then return back to center. Now grab your big toes with your thumb, index and middle finger and pull your knees towards the armpits. Rock from side to side. And then slowly release, hug your knees in, hold for a second and then rest your legs down onto your mat, arms by your side, relax your shoulders and enjoy with me our last few breaths in Shavasana, corpse pose. Try to relax every muscle, focus on your breath. Enjoy this peaceful feeling after yoga practice. Feel into the body. Feel the energy flowing through it. Calm the mind. Calm the body. Melt into the sand. You can stay in Shavasana as long as you like, otherwise take a full body stretch, inhale deeply and then roll on one side and lift up into seated. Inhale, lift your arms up, bring your palms together, exhale, hands in prayer in front of your heart. I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I would like to connect with you. Take a look on my channel where you can find more yoga flows like this. And if you need more inspiration, then follow me on Instagram. My name is Out of Being AM.